The reason we are starting with keyword research is because we will be using our keywords throughout all three stages. So to begin our keyword research, open up your web browser and go to google.com. Next, type in the search phrase, Google AdWords Keyword Tool, and click on the first result, which should show Keyword Tool External. This will take us to the Google AdWords Keyword Suggester Tool. Now we can begin our keyword research. In the box that tells you to enter a word or phrase, type in a keyword or two that you think most closely relates to the content on your site. You can also enter your website's URL, but for now, let's just focus on typing in keywords. As an example, I will type in golf clubs. After just a few seconds, a long list of potential keywords shows up. Let's start with the first keyword we see under the Keyword Ideas section. To the right of this keyword, we see that there is a green bar under the heading Competition. What this means is that this particular key term has many advertisers competing for top placements in the Sponsored Link section of a Google search. A key term with not as much green in its advertiser competition bar will not have as many advertisers competing for the Sponsored Link section. What this indicates to you as you are creating your website is that targeting a key term with high competition may be an extremely tough challenge and as a result you may find more success targeting a key term with not as much competition which would be indicated here by a smaller amount of green in its bar. Beside the advertiser competition is the monthly search volume. This number is an approximate 12 month average for all searches performed on google.com and the Google Search Network. The figure beside the search volume is the estimated local monthly searches. This number is an approximate monthly average for your targeted country and language. The search I am showing here is targeted for the United States and English. As we scroll down the list, you will begin to see all of the other suggested related terms along with their advertiser competition and search volume. It is highly recommended that you spend some time going over some of these key terms, creating new ones, and figuring out some good terms that you can use that are still highly searched but do not have as much competition associated with them. When you see phrases that you like and want to use, click on the checkbox which is located right beside the key phrase. Repeat this for all keywords that you want to target. Once you are done, click the Download drop-down menu select the option for download selected and download these keywords. You can also view the keywords as text so that you can copy and paste them in a document. This will be your list of keywords that you will return to whenever you are doing further optimizations for your site. To further your research, it is a good idea to see the actual number of search results and quality of the competing sites for each of the key terms that you selected to target. For example, Let's assume the keyword I found with low advertiser competition and a high search volume is Golf Tour Club. I will go to Google and search for this term. The first thing I will notice is the number of results. This term actually has a relatively high number, so that already shows us it may be a very competitive term. The next thing I will do is check out the sites that rank highly for this term. What you want to be asking yourself is whether or not these sites are of high quality or low quality. If they are high quality sites, this is another indicator to you that this phrase may be too hard to compete for. If they are low quality sites, then that's when you might decide to target this phrase. To figure out if they are high quality or low quality sites, it will have to be a judgment call by you, but you can do things such as visit the site to see if it is professionally done, and then also see if it is a site that has a lot of incoming links or even see if it has a high page rank. We will learn more about incoming links and page rank later on in the tutorial. Use Google's keyword tool. Find keywords with low competition and high search volume. Spend a proper amount of time brainstorming keywords. You may find some hidden gems that you might not have otherwise even thought of. Compile a list of potential keywords to target and keep them handy as you build your website. 